Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about materials in Godot 3. To get things started, I've made two mesh instances and I've turned the meshes into spheres. And as you can see by default, the material is a flat white. If you select the mesh instance and you go over to the mesh, you'll see a category called materials. And if you open that up, it'll say empty. Click on the drop down, and then you wanna to go to new spatial material. And then to edit that, you wanna click on the drop down and you wanna to go to edit. And then after you do that, you'll see all of these properties revealed to you. Now that's all fine, but if you wanted to make a material that you could share across multiple assets, it would be kinda of time consuming to go through each one of your meshes and then set up a material. So what you can do instead is, you can come over to your resource window, you can right click and go to new resource, and then in here, you wanna look for spatial material. And then you wanna give it a name and you wanna save it. And if you double click on that, you'll see all of the same properties are available to you. And then instead of going through all that setup on each of the materials, all you need to do is just drag and drop that right into the empty slot. And then you can just edit it from here. Now from here, I'm not gonna go through everything, but I do encourage you to just play around. I'm gonna go over what I consider to be the basics, and that's albedo, metallic, roughness, emission, and transparency. So your albedo, this is just your base color. Your roughness, this is how smooth or how not smooth it is. And then your metallic, it's whether or not it's metal. And now we have something like a Christmas bulb. Emission, you can think of something like neon signs or even like light bulbs. And then your transparency, this is actually hidden. You wanna to go to flags and you wanna turn on transparent. And then from here, you go back to albedo. And when you click on color, you'll notice it says RGBA. A is your alpha. When we lower this, you'll see that it starts to become transparent. All right guys, there's a lot more on materials to come, but for now, this should cover materials in Godot 3. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.